So, what's your name? I don't have a name. Oh, well anyway, what exactly do you do as a vampire? Not that much really, even though most people wouldn't think that I should be sparkly and have some crush on some girl with some a stone face always. Okay, okay, we all know Twilight here. What I meant was, to say was, how did you become a vampire? Oh, another one beat me. Oh, duh. Okay, did you kill anyone? So far, I've killed a uh, woman, and uh, I think another woman, and some other woman, and a pizza guy. Wait, did you take his pizza? Duh. What did it have? Cheese, tomatoes, peanut butter, and jelly, and sardines. It was very disgusting. Let me guess, did you try to suck the sardines' blood? Who wouldn't? It's uh, like a so delicious. Well, normally the vampire would have killed at least like 50 people by now, and another... Yo, what's up, dude? I'm Sam. What you guys talking about? Whoa, are you a vampire? Excuse me, I wear a hat. Awesome, man. Wait, what are you doing? Boo. Where did the vampire go? Mm -hmm. Ants in the sugar bowl are something to behold Shining in the silverware like little specks of gold And the like bees and honeycomb You'll put it in your tea when we can bring some money home Pendulum swings, the energy's unlocked Counting down the seconds like a grasshopper I'm Chewbacca, and today, we're going to be solving a Rubik's Cube. May I see the cube, sir? Thank you, sir. I thought I'd professionally mess up this cube for him to make sure that anybody watching at home doesn't think we're faking this. Oh. <laughs> Enjoy.
classic. I like cheese. By the trauma reliever, 3,000 now. What are you doing here? <laughs> Classic. Welcome to life. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I can. Hi there. Shut up. All right, bye. Today we are in front of the USS Enterprise, and I am joined with Sharkblade. He is a fighter pilot. So, Sharkblade, mm -hmm. how, what made you be a fighter pilot? Well, is that the war in Vietnam was going on for a long time, and so uh, I had to get in because if I didn't, then the government would had to, would have to make me do it. Why is so, that? Well, because, you know, in the wars, there's there's no choice. You have to join or, like, if you don't want to join, then you have to join. Because if you don't, then the government will force you to join. And so there's, so during the war, there's no point of not joining. What do you think of war? Well, it's pretty bloody because... Well, a lot of people die, and so, so it kind of looks like the world is ending and everybody's dying. Okay, I see. What do you think about the Enterprise, the ship behind us? Well, it's like a home to me because there's cruise quarters, cafe, and then there's the hangar deck where we have the bombs, missiles, extra bullets, and so all of that. So they get on the elevators, the weapons elevator, bring it up to the hangar deck, put them on the planes, put the planes on the catapult, and then you just shoot them off the deck. I see. Do you have any like experiences, near-death experiences that you would like to share? Well, yeah. And so one time I was almost shot down by a Russian MiG-15, but it was actually a good but I actually saved myself because I was in a really fast and agile F-14 Tomcat. And so I just folded in my wings and then I kind of pulled up, went behind him and shot him down. And so that was a near de death experience because he hit one of my engines and then I was going down for a while. But then I pulled up and then my extra engine helped me. What kind of sh like planes do you fly? Well, I fly the F twenty two, F A twenty two, and the F A eighteen Super Hornet, and the Tomcat. And so, which one do you like the best? Like, you find the best well, efficiency, or maybe the one that I that feels most agile to me, like. The one that feels the most fastest to me, I would say the Tomcat. Okay. So, let's see. Um, yeah. I think we have time for one more question or so. Okay. So, I would like to ask you, like... You said you had a brother yeah. that was in the yeah. Navy. Yeah. I, whatever. 
Um, so, what was his name and like, yeah. Well, well, a sad story about my brother is that I got a note that said he was killed in combat. And so he was flying the F-14 and then he had like a, like gauge problems and then it, and then one of his engines had a blowout and their second engine had a blowout. Yeah, I and see. the really tragic thing is that his whole plane blew up with him. So that's all we have, have time, time to. for today. So hope you enjoyed it. All. Yeah, and, and this was a yeah, good interview. It. Yeah, and actually, it, um, uh, yeah, I actually had a nice time. Thanks for inviting me. Welcome. Yeah. And. Hey guys, Sharkblade here. So you see the jet behind me. So I'm gonna get in and I'm gonna show you how good I fly. So here we go.
Welcome, this is Jeopardy. The, here are the two contestants for today, David and Matthew. Our categories for today are books, movies, and states. Matthew, you have the first pick. Movies 200. The movie in which Gandalf the Grey first fights the Bel the Bell Rock demon. Um, Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. Correct. Okay, David, your pick. Um, states for 300. The Evergreen State. Virginia? Wrong. What is Washington? Correct. David, you have, you also have the next pick. Books for 200. Four children go to a strange land for the first time in this C.S. Lewis novel. What is the Narnia series? Correct. <laughs> David, you still have the next pick. Stage for 200. The Sunshine State. Arizona. Uh, what is Arizona? C incorrect. What is Nevada? <laughs> you can only guess one. What? What is North Carolina? Okay, the correct answer is Florida. Uh -huh. So, well, Matthew, your pick. Um, movies 300. The movie in which the main character's name is an endless number rounded to 3.14. What is the life of Pi? Correct. You have the next pick. Books for 300. The children's book in which an animal refuses to eat two foods. The correct answer is green eggs and ham. Okay, so Matthew, your pick. States 100. Chain of Islands. What is the Bahamas? <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> what is why? <Hawaii>? Correct. <laughs> okay, David, your pick. Movies for 100. George Lucas's film in which Java the Hutt is killed. What is Star Wars? Correct. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, right, wrong. It's a Return of the Jedi. Well, it's wrong, it's a Return of the Jedi. We're but that's in Star Wars. We're, we're asking for the entire series. I mean, not the entire series, the exact movie. Okay, uh, that's so your, stupid. your pick. Uh -huh. Books, 100. The book by J.K. Rowling in which Voldemort's killed. Harry Potter. <laughs> 
<laughs> you forgot to put it in question format. What is Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows? Correct. <laughs> Welcome back from the break. Now is two. T now we're doing double jeopardy. So, Matt, David, since you won the last round, we'll give Matthew the first pick. Um, movies. Four hundred. The DC superhero who is a newspaper photographer. Who is Superman? Wrong! <laughs> okay, well, the correct answer is, who is Spider-Man? So close. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go back to you, Matthew. Okay, movie's 200. A movie in which a magical lady babysits two children. Who is Mary Poppins? Correct. Okay, you saw it. Still your pick. States 400. The Last Frontier. What, what is Alaska? Correct. <laughs> no more states. States for 200. No. <laughs> okay. States 200. The golden thing. <laughs> David, you actually rung first. Um, what is California? Okay. Wrong! <laughs> States for 600. Oh no. Gotta get this. The northernmost state that used to be a part of colonial Massachusetts. Virginia? What is Virginia? <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is Maine. Oh, I see. Get the points. <laughs> okay, now let's move on. Now, it's it's back to you, David. Uh, folks, for four hundred. A girl is forced to fight to the death with 11 other girls and 12 other boys. Hunger Games. What is the Hunger Games? Correct. You just said Hunger Games. No, 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 Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. No, I no, gave no. you the... I gave you one. Books for 600. Oh, no. A boy finds a golden ticket to go to a chocolate factory in this 2005 remake of Johnny Depp. He rings before you finished. Oh, what? What is Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? What is, what is Willy Wonka? Oh, it's Charlie and the Chocolate I got, Factory. I, I got Wonka Correct. and the Chocolate Factory. I'll give it to I'll give no, it to I'll give it to Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I was it's close David's enough. It's David's 400 points. This is not fair. What? Oh, maybe 600. So I just want to click it on. A girl follows the yellow... A girl mm. follows the yellow road and makes many friends. What is the Wizard of Oz? Correct. Book for 200. The book in which Dumbledore died. Harry Potter and the Death... No, 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 no. no. Prince. No, no, <laughs> Half-Blood Prince. Okay, I'll give it to you. No question for Matt. He said, what is, and oh, then he read Okay. Yes, I got it. So, we're done with Double Jeopardy. Welcome back. Time for 
for our final Jeopardy. Today's category is Gourmet Cuisine. Contestants, please place your wagers. We'll be back after the break. Have you ever felt like your hair just wasn't the right color? Have you wanted to dye your hair but it just wasn't worth the money? And you know what? You know that the dyes have so many chemicals it damages your hair. Well there's no need for that anymore. Because we've got the product just right for you. Introducing Rainbow Shampoo! This shampoo has two jobs. It washes your hair like regular shampoo and... It gives you the choice to decide how you want your hair to look. This new patented product comes from the, mixing, from the idea of mixing hair dye and shampoo. But if you have dark hair, you have to bleach your shampoo. That means even more chemicals. Ick. But with rainbow shampoo, your hair gets to the right color with no chemicals. You're just washing your hair. The rainbow shampoo includes red, green, and blue sliders to get the exact color you want for your hair. Models, Models come, come on, on up. up. This model washed her hair and now she has many different colors. And if you're worried about facial hair, there's no need for that. Rainbow shampoo covers that too. Like mustaches. Look at our hair. It changes colors too. Other shampoos like this cost over $200. But you can get rainbow shampoo for just $29.99. Call 1-800-SHAMPOO or visit our website at www.rainbowshampoo.com to get a surprise bonus hair accessory with your order. But wait, there's more! Call in the next 10 minutes and we'll double your offer. That's two rainbow shampoos plus, plus an additional two hair, accessor hair accessories for a, a total of, of $29.99. Call now! Side effects, man bulb, itchy scalp, dry scalp, oily hair, thin hair, sneezing, wheezing, coughing, choking, unusually, unusual swelling of the eyes, neck, and nose. Stop using rainbow shampoo. What is the biggest number you can think of? A trillion, billion, gazillion! That's big. Can anyone top that? Ten. Infinity. Infinity plus one! The answer we were looking for was infinity plus infinity. What about infinity times infinity? Ooh. Have you ever been in this kind of situation. This poor fella has to sit and watch his friend here eat a hamburger like Godzilla eating a mountain in one mouthful. Do you ever wish that you could avoid watching it without being rude by looking away? Now you can with the new Trauma re Reliever 3000. This, with this revolutionary product, you can never experience the visual trauma by never seeing it in the first place. Simply apply in the eyes and cover all visual contact. It's that easy. See? <laughs> Sorry. There. <laughs> now you can enjoy your meal and so can Burger King over here. You can buy this for just $59.99 minus tax. Buy it now! Get ready for the new, amazing, spectacular, stellar, all right, maybe not so interesting, completely boring, new movie called The Paper Bag. Watch the excitement of the paper bag flying in the air from right to left. Witness the drama of watching the paper bag fall on the floor in the, in the forest, and we all scream in horror. Experience the diversion of forgetting this whole movie after watching it and turning into a fish. That's right, folks, a fish. Starring... Nick Cage as the paper bag. 
coming to a trash can near you. Don't forget to bring your fishbowl. The wagers are in. Now it's time for our final Jeopardy question. This was the amount of tacos the Bobby Chastian consumed at the first Taco Tuesday at the Oakland Coliseum. Okay, time's up. <laughs> Drop your pens. <laughs> okay, now let's see your answers. So yeah, you wagered one, and your answer is, what is banana? <laughs> <laughs> David, you wagered 600 and your answer is 23. That is correct. What? <laughs> I didn't get that one. I guess. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, I don't know how we would cheat. I guess. How many have you cheated? You saw it, didn't you? It like came up or something. No, it's the answer never cheated. came up. How did he know? <laughs> no, it I guess. Off Completely guess. It, it was wrong. It was